And I collect things. It started with my baseball cards that I had as a kid and Pokemon and, and Pogs. All right! Pogs are a very big Suitor story. number two! Slammer. That's me. Suitor number two, what do you do for a living? Well, I live in my mother's basement. I play World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> and I trade in Buffy the Vampire Slayer photos and memorabilia. You want a man who can protect you. This is good. This I is have magic good. powers and extra, All extra right. tokens. Suitor number three! Well, uh -huh. luckily, uh, I'm a professional speak model. Speak up, speak up, Super Number Three. Shut up. <laughs> I'm a professional model. Not on my show. Whoa. Who knows oh, kung fu? I be careful. I teach karate. That's oh, right. I'm sorry. That's and I'm an exotic dancer. <laughs> wow, that's good. All right. Uh, now uh, let's get another question from the audience. Another question for all of our suitors. What sports do you play? What? You think they play? <laughs> we'll ask. We'll find out. Uh, I get confused sometimes. I'm not a prime number. Suitor number two. What kind of sports do you play? Well, I'm I've got sort of a, a spinal problem. I've got no spine. I've just got rubber bands holding me up, so it's very difficult for me to play anything. 
I'm sometimes used as home plate by my friends in the Little League. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, so but I'm very flexible. Uh, that's a plus. So then number one, what sports do you play? Uh, when I was a child, uh, my mom put me in some dance classes. And then when I got older, I played uh, croquet. But mostly I just followed professional badminton. Okay, suit so number three. What sports do you play? Well, I used to play soccer for the national team of Brazil. Uh, I also play uh, baseball in Cuba. And, um... Soccer and baseball. We have an athlete here, folks. All right, uh, so it is, I'd like you to tell me about what your dream date would be. Well, what is your dream date that you will take her on should you be lucky enough to get her? All right, uh, let's start with uh, suitor number one. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk right to you. I can't do that. <laughs> well, I had a dream that one day I'd go on a date. Okay! Uh, is that... There'd be, I mean, I think you go to dinner. <laughs> right. Uh, Suda number two, why don't you step up and tell us what your dream date would be? Well, my mother would drive me over to pick you up. And we go to the Beverly Garland Center for a convention, an autograph signing convention, and we'd meet like people from from like 1960s and 70s television, like from, from Battlestar Galactica, the original one. And, and if we're lucky, David Boreas would be there. Wow. For you and and and, and Michelle, like Sarah, and Michelle Gellar for me. Well, if you don't get her, I'll go on that. All right, you come with me, baby. I'll go on that date. She's hot for me. Like She's hot for me. Sit. I. Just sit. That's so right there, just sit. Okay. All right, suitor number three, come on down and tell us what your dream date would be. Well, first thing it would be, it would, uh, you would come back to my place, and I press my button and my disco ball would come down. Disco ball? And then the lights would dim, and then that sweet, slow music would start to come on, and then we'll break out a couple of bottles of warm baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my God. God. All right, this, I, I mean, we need to, if it's not obvious now, it never will be, am I right? Okay, suitor number one. Why would they have baby oil if they don't have babies? Okay, just leave. <laughs> because I'm here, I'm sick, and she's going to love my house. Just leave. No, just leave. Okay. I exude my own oils. All right, between suitor number two and suitor number three, we are going to decide.